Welcome to the Shintaido of America podcast. Shintaido is an amazing form of health exercise and body movement practice inspired by martial arts, a non-combative training system for mind and body invented by Japanese martial artists in the 1960s. Shintaido can be a way to open up to a deeper connection with ourselves, with our community, and with nature. In season one of the podcast, I'll be reading from the book Shintaido, The Body is a Message of the Universe by the founder of Shintaido, Hiroyuki Aoki. You can find links to this podcast, sign up for our free email newsletter, and find many other resources at our website, www.shintaido.org. That's www.shintaido.org. Hi, welcome to episode 14 of the Shintaido of America podcast. I'm Shintaido instructor David Franklin. This episode, chapter 5 of the book, is quite short and needs no introduction. The idealistic but also profoundly practical nature of Shintaido as a body movement discipline is clearly expressed by the title, How to Make This Age Better. Okay, ready? Here we go. Chapter 5, How to Make This Age Better. In today's complicated world, there is much happening that cannot be comprehended or expressed through a simple yin-yang philosophy or a philosophy of attack and defense. Keiko, practicing, is a basic formula and does not have to include or express these complexities. Instead, we must focus our practice on the simple human principles that unite the world of practicing Shintaido with the social world. We must learn these principles with our bodies and translate them into concrete arrangements in our daily lives. The most important task for us is to find the true direction of our lives. By shining a light on the center of our being, we can renew ourselves and make our center sure. When someone starts our program and begins to awaken their hidden talent, they fulfill one of my original aims for Shintaido. I believe creative life consists of millions of continuing satoris. Satori meaning enlightenment, awareness, or understanding. Creativity is not the exclusive province of artists and artistic expression. If we stop the automatic acts of daily life, surrendering yesterday's happenings and separating ourselves from the old self of one day ago, through an act of our will, we will discover a new life of continuing satori. By pursuing a new mind, we will approach our real self step by step and discover the deeper meaning of a truly creative life. It is surprising to see that our customs, taboos, rules, and prejudices in this world are only the product of internal and external pressures and are, in fact, mental deadwood. They have exhausted our life energy and drained our creative minds. At one time, perhaps, there was some purpose for their existence, but they have lost their meaning and spirit during the course of history. Unable to express either our hopes or convictions, our ideas or inspirations, this debris of history threatens to still the pulse of our existence. This is not the place to describe all the antiquated customs and conventions of the world, but when the fire of our life is ignited and glowing, we will naturally see what is false and contradictory, masquerading in the guise of the genuine. In this struggle, there are some setbacks, but we have no alternative except to continue to develop ourselves. And when we have won the truth that this struggle brings, then we must sincerely try to share the fruits with our neighbors. I hope, first for myself and then for others, that we will persevere in this venture and that Shintaido will continue to be a map and textbook for self-study. I dream that someday a future generation will forge ahead using the map which has been prepared anew by each succeeding generation of practitioners. What is received by the body will never disappear because the body itself has been transformed in the process. I hope that together with all those who love, practice, and support Shintaido, 
directly or indirectly, plus those who will find Shintaido in the future, we can continue our movement and transfer truth from body to body, our most dependable witness. In the past, we struggled for the future, but now the victory we must win is for today. You've been listening to episode 14 of the Shintaido of America podcast, a reading from the book Shintaido, The Body is a Message of the Universe by Hiroyuki Aoki. If you enjoyed today's podcast, the most important thing you can do to help is to tell people about us. A big thank you to those of you who have shared the podcast on social media, and if you haven't done so yet, please do share it on whichever social media you use. Also, it helps us a lot if you give us a good rating on whatever podcasting platform you're using to listen to this. Shintaido of America is a member-supported nonprofit organization, and there are many ways to support our truly micro-budget production of educational materials. And I really mean that. We produce a huge amount of content on volunteer power, but some things just require a few bucks in the bank. So make a donation or become a member of Shintaido of America. You can do that, sign up for our free email newsletter, and also find all kinds of free educational resources at our website, www.shintaido.org. That's www.shintaido.org. That's Whiskey, whiskey, whiskey. Dot Sierra Hotel India November Tango Alpha India Delta Oscar. Dot Oscar Romeo Golf. You can also find us on Instagram, on Facebook, and on YouTube by searching for Shintaido of America. And our email address is podcast at shintaido.org. Our episode today was recorded and edited by me, David Franklin with support from Sarah Baker, Connie Borden, Teresa Soldatova, Jim Sterling, the Joe Zawilski Memorial Fund, and, of course, the members of Shintaido of America. Thank you. Thanks for listening to the Shintaido of America podcast. I'm Shintaido instructor David Franklin. Contents of this podcast, copyright Shintaido of America 2022. Shintaido, opening to life. (laughs) 